Howdy, y'all. Hello. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another segment of Tamper Talk with your host, the Bearded Tamper. <laughs> so, I uh, last time we spoke, um, I was looking to get into doing some deer antler tampers. It was my first time. And so I went from, I showed you guys, you know, the, the sheds or the racks that I had and um, wound up cutting some tips off. Tips, I said. And um, fashioned some antlers. So I showed you guys the wood I mean, I showed you guys everything I was going to do, and I, and I have since done it, but I suppose just to recap, oh, smoking the Missouri Meerschaum, I believe this is the legend, bent legend, and of course it was all the, bent, the natural bent legend <laughs> that I stained and buffed and smoked and, and in it I got some Byzantium thank you Ford my man Ford smoking pipes that guy hooked me up with some Byzantium and a couple other tobaccos um, what a fantastic guy fantastic guy uh, love me some Ford anyway gonna set that pipe down so the wood stock that we got that we're working with is um, Osage Orange, Walnut, and White Oak, and um, Osage Orange, and Walnut, and then some Walnut, and this is some of that hardwood flooring sample. I'm not sure what this is. When I got it, some of the, the backing, which had the, um, the description on it, was already cut off. So some of the wood, I don't know what it is, and this is some of it. I'm trying to use up that stock first before I go cutting into any other samples. So I take all that wood, and obviously, you know, I cut it down to size to fit whatever. Drill a hole in it, put my screw in it, wood screw. I epoxy the tips on here, and I believe that... Um, that it'll hold just fine. So here's one right here. You know, so we've got this glued onto there and sanded and polished, but it's screwed on and it's um, epoxied on too with a two-part epoxy. And you know, these are tips from the deer antler. And um, boy, they shine, I tell you, because they're so hard they're not the easiest thing to work with. I thought that some of this hardwood that I work with was some tough stuff. This is a lot of sanding. <laughs> a lot of sanding goes into this, getting them, getting them to come out, you know, getting this to, I mean, there's, you can tell the texture difference because the antler, the antlers are so hard. I mean, you can get them smooth as glass and then you buff them and shine them up, you know, but it's, I mean, they're, they're pretty, pretty seamless. I don't know. I'll, I'll try to get that. One of these days, I'm going to get this thing to focus, and you guys are going to be like, oh, well, I'm not even in the shot there. Whatever. Well, if you want to see it close up, you know where to get one. <laughs> So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show a couple of them because I man these things come out way better than what I had anticipated. So yeah, there's one, and then this one this one's probably my favorite because it goes it goes all squirrely cue on it, <laughs> and then even how like the grain came out on it. And see how it's kind of slanted, like that. I mean, that, that 
Not like, oh, wow, that's slanted. No, that, that was intentional. And it's, and it's got an oval shape to it to, to stay contoured with the antler. And then, you know, it's got like some, uh, you can see it, some natural nicks, you know, in the, in the antler where, you know, the deer rub their, their, their antlers on stuff and whatever could have, could have gotten in a fight, bashed up with another deer or something, but there's, you know, there's character, there's character here. And then of course you got the bottle pick if you want. And then this little guy, you know, they're just, they're great. Man, these things are cool. I want to keep one myself, but I don't know. And then I got a couple, a couple big guys here. Man, these things, this one's, this one's six inches long. This would be good for, you know, sitting in your chair at the house and poking her down with. Man, I can't even fit this on the screen. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, some of them are different colored than others. And some of them are not. But this, this is, uh, this one's cool. I believe this, I believe this one to be a brow tine. You know, on the, on the brow. But this is a perfect little pocket tamper. Three and a half, no, three and a quarter inches. Beautiful little guy. Beautiful. Man, these things come out nice. Really, really nice. They come out really, really nice because I spent a lot of time sanding on them. So, those are, I've already sold, um, Sold one, like almost instantly, and um, Brendan, um, the Blue Line Pipe, go check that guy out. I've um, been talking with him, and um, pretty solid guy, pretty solid guy. Got some pretty good content out there. But um, so we're we're a little ways away from uh, from where we want to be, but. Bearded Tamper is really, really coming along. And I really appreciate all the, um, all the encouragement and all the support that I've been getting from, from the YTPC community and, and just, just everybody, really. So we've got um, my wife. My wife does a fantastic job with, uh, with uh, you know, all the, um, the platforms out there. I'm trying to think of the word, the right word. But I, it's it's evading me right now. But she does a really good job with the website, and and she made a Facebook um, account for the bearded tamper. That I I have a separate Facebook account that I'm never on. But the bearded tamper, I am on quite often. Not like catching up with the latest news, but you know, just interacting with people with the tampers and you know other pipe makers and it's it's pretty neat some some pipe makers that I that I admire are you know I say friends but <laughs> we interact on Facebook and that's that's pretty cool and Instagram I think that's neat I like it we don't know each other you know we've met, never met each other but just the stuff that the content or the content the material you know that we're putting out the products that we have that's our common interest and um and it's it's real supportive community and i appreciate that so thank you everybody thank you for that um yeah so like, again so these antler tampers you know they'll be um they're gonna be i sell my wooden tampers, I don't have any out right now, but imagine this with a dottle pick and more fancy. I like this one. It's plain. It's a pocket tamper. It's perfect. Um, but I sell those for $20, and that is including shipping. So, you know, my, my 
prices aren't, there's no hidden fees or taxes or whatever surcharges. I'm not the phone company. But, you know, I, I ship anywhere in the United States. And I, you know, whatever the price is, that's what you pay. There's no extra shipping. But and, but these are going to have to be more because the time that I've spent in them and, and just, you know, the material, I have more material, more time involved in these. So obviously the price is going to have to be higher. But, you know, we're only going... Oh, sorry. There's some fuzz on that. <laughs> Caught my eyes. Like, what is that? So we're going $30 on these. Again, that's including shipping. And, and if it gets any more involved, then the price is going to have to go up. Um, I'm trying to keep it as low as possible, obviously. you know. And these are tampers. You can, you can get a 16-penny nail. You can use your finger if you want to, to tamp your pipe down with. I mean, you don't, you don't have to have this kind of stuff. You, know, you can break a branch off with a tree in the backyard and just tamp your... Anything will work to tamp the tobacco down. But to tamp in style? It's, it's a luxury item. Pipe smoking is a luxury item. So, I guess it's kind of a sales pitch. <laughs> you want to tamp in style, tamp with the bearded tamper. Oh, perfect on-the-go tamper. I keep picking this one up. This is going to be hard to get rid of. I, I love, I love the crook in it. I love the wood. It goes, it just goes great. The colors in it. It's just, it is a beautiful tamper. Some of these are going to be hard to get rid of, but I certainly didn't make seven antler tampers to tamp with <laughs> my own pipes. Anyways, <clears throat> I want to kind of keep this short. We're already at 12 minutes, so that'll do it. I am the Bearded Tamper, and this is another episode of Tamper Talk. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. <laughs>